is going on YouTube and welcome back to just one more thing. I just want to thank everybody for the support they've been giving me and the subscribes and likes on my videos. I certainly hope to get way more out there to help you guys out. I've been adding that I need some requests on a few simple home maintenance repairs and routines, day-to-day -day routines that you'd like to see done. So send them my way and I'll add them to the list for upcoming videos. Now one request I've gotten already was loss of suction on a pool vacuum, believe it or not. So with just a few simple steps, I can show you how to get the most suction out of your pool vacuum to make vacuuming your pool way easier this summer. So come with me over to the pool and we'll go over a few simple steps to ensure you get the proper suction on your vacuum. All right, so here we are poolside on this beautiful non-sunny day, but at least it's not raining. And I already know what you're thinking, why is that pool not blue? And I agree completely. Unfortunately, when we bought this house, we ended up getting a little bit of an older faded liner. So next year, before springtime hits, we're gonna be replacing that. So if you stick with me that long, we'll be showing you how to replace a pool liner as well. So let's get going on this vacuum cleaner. So first off, I'm sure you guys already know, you've got your skimmer basket here. This is where you're gonna be connecting your hose when you're vacuuming your pool. We have a basket inside here that's gonna catch all the debris you're vacuuming up. Now, if you've got big branches and leaves, you're probably gonna to have to hop in that bad boy and get those out first. Okay, now that I've gathered up all my supplies, we're gonna keep this very, very simple so you can be up and vacuuming here within a few minutes. First thing you're gonna need is a vacuum head. Second thing you're gonna need is your hose. They're pretty much all universal for uh, this type of equipment. Attach your vacuum head. Almost forgot one of the most important things. You can't vacuum without the pole. So now that we have that attached, We'll go ahead and put the vacuum in the water. Now, I prefer to have everything untangled before you begin. Okay, remember one of your favorite parts as a kid is trying to swim against the jet? See if you were strong enough? Well, that's what we're gonna do, is we're gonna go ahead and stick this end to the return line where it shoots out all the clean filtered water now what's going to happen is that's going to force water down this pipe through the vacuum head to get, ensure all the air is out. And that's probably the most important tip out of this whole video is making sure all the air is out of your line. So let's get started on that. Now you'll see a lot of bubbles coming out of that back you have, which is good. So as soon as you know you've got all the air out of the line, that vacuum head will sink directly to the bottom. Now what you're gonna wanna do is make sure you keep the end of your hose out of the water, and then you can put your attachment on. Hey kiddo, you wanna hand that to me? Right down there. All right, here's the next piece we're going to attach to the end of the hose, still underwater. I prefer doing it upside down to ensure no air gets in. That's if I don't break it first. All right, next up, we're gonna come over to our skimmer basket. And without getting air in the line, we're gonna go ahead and put this in here. Make sure it has a nice snug fit on the inside here and this should make sure that there's no air in the line and this will give you the maximum potential for your vacuum. And that's all there is to it. Use that jet to ensure you get all the air out of your line. Keep your vacuum head underwater, 
keep the line underwater, attach everything underwater, put it to your skimmer, and you're done. Now you can get the vacuuming and it won't take you near as much time since you have no air in the line. So that's it. If you like the video, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, the like button, comment below. Let me know what else you'd like to see and I'll be sure to add it to my list for just one more thing to do. Thanks. Take care, guys. Yeah.